Okay, it is April 10th, and it's coming close to the end of the day, but I thought I would take you around and show you uh, what's going on. I planted a bunch of grow bags of food, so these are broccolis, and uh, there's onions, and uh, I have sweet potatoes trying to grow vines right now, and this right here is uh, a garlic and these are uh, all onions more garlic <clears throat> garlic in that one and these are uh, carrots in any rate I've got uh, I got a lot of stuff growing here and then lots of broccoli and cauliflower over here and I'm growing lots of garlic over there there's elephant garlic they go get up to a pound each and I'm growing carrots and garlic and I have herbs that are going to be coming up pretty soon and I made another bed of herbs that will soon sprout. So I'll take you around here. This is the greenhouse. I have finished putting up doors and uh, on one of them. The other greenhouse still doesn't have doors but I have the inside all made up. Uh, so I got a lot of pea gravel. <clears throat> so any rate, oh, by the way, these are my, my fruit trees. They just came in, and I have over 200 fruit trees uh, here, and they've all been tagged and ready for sale. And they're apples and uh, peaches and uh, cherry trees and uh, plums, all kinds of different fruit trees. Uh, and they look very healthy and they're all starting to grow leaves and flowers but uh, here I got my greenhouse up this is where we renewed our vows and uh, and see I got this pea gravel that I put down these bags are uh, set up to grow uh, honeydew melons and watermelons this is a table full of my seeds and I've got some trays that are sprouting right now this doesn't have anything growing but it will have peppers coming up this just started sprouting and this is uh, radishes and then these are starting to come up and uh, this is a uh, corn that I'll be planting out in the fields then I got three avocado trees that I just transplanted and they're pretty tall they're about uh, oh one's probably seven and a half feet tall or so I've got some uh, these vines right here. You clip these vines, and uh, and uh, you will grow sweet potatoes. I took cuttings from my fruit trees, and I'm trying to propagate them in these. And so, if they grow, I will have new trees, and it doesn't cost me any extra money. And if that works, I will. Uh, probably try to set up about 500 of them. Um, now here's an area that I've been working on and uh, we just finished up a planting. I planted 10 raised beds. See this is my greenhouse that has no doors but the inside's all ready to go. So I just have to put the doors up. And uh, these uh, beds, I have 10 beds uh, laid out here and I planted them all so soon uh, there will be uh, food growing out of these beds all kinds of different stuff uh, black beans uh, I have one thing just dedicated for herbs um, just all kinds of stuff and now these plants here whoops this is a uh, in a grow bags these are all potatoes that I planted a month and a half ago. And as you can see, they're very healthy and they're growing real big. And uh, I just laid down gravel uh, around my beds. Had uh, Tommy make uh, 10 more beds. I made these 10 beds. And, uh, and when I get the gravel all put out, uh, I've only gone halfway so far today this took me all day I started at 8:30, and uh, 
I'm just pooped. But at any rate, we'll get the gravel all the way to the end there and then come out and I will uh, put out another 10 beds. And we'll get soil in these beds and start growing a massive amount of vegetables, food. And uh, oh, over here, um, I'll zoom in so you see this. Uh, this area right here are all berry bushes and I'm growing all kinds of berries, blueberries, raspberries, uh, blackberries, you name it. I've got them growing out here. I've got mulberries growing. And last but not least is my fish pond. I've worked real hard on this, uh, getting it uh, to the point it is at now. I stocked it last week. There are uh, catfish, a hundred catfish stocked into it and a hundred crappies. And about this time I like to come out here and feed the fish. Uh, there's lots of frogs, polywogs and whatnot in the pond as well as eight pounds of minnows. But uh, it's very calm right now. It's been super windy. Uh, so I'll zoom out and uh, get a better picture of the pond. And Ripley seems to like it a lot. You hear that dog? So are the frogs down there? Yep. So the frogs all take off once they see me. <laughs> they start swimming. There are hundreds of frogs in here. And uh, and there go. They just uh, they just keep multiplying. So there's lots of food in here. Let's see if I can get down and scare a couple where they jump in. It's, I don't know if you can see this or not. But their ripples are from all the frogs jumping in. So there you have it. I've got. My windmill blowing, it's pumping air, the fish are feeding, I can see ripples, them coming to the surface, now I'm going to grab some food and feed them. There's, I found about four turtles out here, so uh, all kinds of life in my pond, and next year I'll be fishing and eating catfish and crappie. Uh, this is uh, from... Uh, from my farm, it's MNT Farm, it's called Mike and Teresa, stands for, and we'll see you soon.